Hey, what's going on guys, Minjiri? So in today's video, let's take a look at James Harden going to the Brooklyn Nets. Yes, guys, you heard that correctly. I did not stutter. I didn't really, you know, mean something else and say this by accident. He is actually a Brooklyn Net. Now, this might come as a surprise to most of you guys, but some of you guys kind of expected this. And to you guys, I give you a huge kudos because that is just awesome. All right, let's get into the specs of this. Basically, what happened was there was a four-team deal with the Cavaliers and many other teams. The Cavaliers, Pacers, Victor Oladipo, and then a couple of the other dudes all got switched, went on to their respective teams. I think from the Pacers, Victor Oladipo went to the Cavs. From the Cavs, a few guys went over there. And then they did this giant swap with Brooklyn Nets finally receiving James Harden. That's all that really matters. The Brooklyn Nets got James Harden. Who cares about the rest of them? It doesn't really matter. So anyway, let's take a look at how this is going to change their roster. Now, we know that James Harden has a high usage rate. Now, this is the kind of guy who dribbles the ball down and he waits till there's like three seconds left before he passes it to someone else and they have to take a buzzer beat to three. That's the kind of guy he is. Don't get me wrong, Harden's an awesome dude. I love James Harden. But here's the thing. I like James Harden on the Rockets. Why? Because he's the main guy. Whatever he says happens. Anything he says goes on. And at the end of the day, when he has a problem, he goes to the owner and the owner thinks of him as his own son, which I completely agree with. Harden's a great player. But he's an individual accolades kind of dude. He's not the kind of guy who you can pair up with many other dudes and expect to carry you to a championship. That's just not how it works. With that being said, now that he's on a team with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, arguably two of the most high personality dudes who just demand the ball. Okay, maybe not KD, but Kyrie demands the ball. Kyrie is a point guard. James Harden is literally Kyrie with a three-pointer. That's better than Kyrie. So I don't even know how this actually this actually made sense for the Nets. But, you know, I have a giant theory behind this. And you guys are probably going to agree with me. Especially if you've been watching me for a while. Yeah, you're probably expecting this. But, anyway, back to the Brooklyn Nets. Basically, with these three on the same team, we have these three. And former MVP, DeAndre Jordan. And then we have Joe Harris, who's a great catch-and-shoot through a three-point shooter. And I'm pretty sure he won the three-point contest, if I'm not wrong. I think he beat out Steph Curry and Clay or something. So, it's pretty cool for a dude. So, Joe Harris is definitely not a joke. So, that starting lineup is looking nasty. It's looking horrible. Because it's pretty good. But, at the end of the day, I think this trade probably should not have happened. Because I don't know how the Rockets are going to... I don't know how the Nets are going to uh, deal with all three of those personalities together. It's probably not going to work out, to be honest. But, yeah. Now, here's my theory. 2016, LeBron James came off a championship run, 3-1 lead against the Warriors, beat him, took him to seven, came out, and won it. What happened in the next year? KD joined Steph Curry, an elite point guard. Klay Thompson, a great catch-and-shoot guy. And then he had Draymond Green. And then later they acquired an older Boogie Cousins who came off some injuries and after some time. Now, let's forward a little bit over to 2020. This is going to sound really, really, really scary. LeBron James wins the title. Elite point guard Kyrie Irving. KD and Kyrie, right? Elite point guard Kyrie Irving with KD. Catch and shoot specialist Joe Harris. James Harden. And DeAndre Jordan, a, a center who's coming off of the, the latter end of his of his career. Wow. This is kind of weird, isn't it? These five are like the mirror from then. So whenever LeBron wins a championship, these guys got to go make a super team to try to go take them down. It is what it is, guys. Um, honestly, all I want to say is see you in the finals. The Lakers are going to be there. Hopefully the Nets are there. Hopefully they don't break apart and fall. But I love James Harden. Always will. Katie and Kyrie, not so much. But we'll see how all that goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow, though, with a brand new video. Until then, make sure you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you tomorrow.